In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these royal icing transfer crows. All you'll need is a printout of this template, a transparent surface to pipe on, and hybrid royal icing in black, gray, and white. Step one, using black royal icing, trace all the outlines except for the beaks. Leave an opening for the eyes. Then flood the wings with the black icing and allow them to dry until the surface crusts over. I'm going to use a tabletop fan to speed up the process. Step two, pipe the eyes with white icing. Step three, flood the bodies and tails with black icing and allow these sections to dry. Step four, pipe the beaks with gray royal icing. I'm starting with the bottom beaks and going through all the crows. After that, I'll go back and pipe the top beaks. Step five. Okay, these guys have dried overnight, so I'm using a drip color dual-sided marker to add the pupils. Then I'm going to add some quick feather details for additional texture. First, I'm using a white fractal marker to sketch the feather shapes. This isn't at all necessary, but it'll add a kind of cool outline effect to the wing feathers. Then, using gray icing, I'm going to pipe long teardrop shapes for the feathers. So I'm starting with kind of a blob of icing at the bottom, then pulling upward into a point. I want my crows to look a little grumpy, so I'm going to add another feather detail, kind of like a frowning eyebrow. Then a couple more feathers on the sides of their head to tie it all together. Step six. All right, they're all finished and dry and ready to remove. The easiest way to do this is to set your sheet on a surface with a straight edge, like a countertop. Then slide the parchment or cellophane over the edge while pulling downward. Click or tap to continue making royal icing transfers. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.